Hey there, my name is Dr. Lisa Pena, and those lovelies right behind me are my beautiful daughters, Isla Love and June Olive. I run a blog and website and nonprofit and a retreat for special needs mamas, all because of this incredible soul, my Isla. She is my oldest daughter and has autism. Because of her unique life, our lives have been amplified and we choose to find joy in the simplest of things, like baking together. Welcome back to the Love and Olive Show. Today we have a summertime classic that involves Marshmallows. Marshmallows and? Graham crackers. And graham crackers. Any guesses? We're calling this a summertime classic, but really, it's a year-round favorite. Here at the Benya Barn House, summer has officially started. So we thought, what better recipe to bring you today than a summertime favorite, which is? S'mores! S'mores. <laughs> s'mores. And not just any kind of s'more, but a really, really big s'more that eventually will be the size of a whole pie. Let's get started. <laughs> First, we're gonna crush up some graham crackers. Okay, this recipe calls for two cups of crushed graham crackers. That equates to about 12 to 13 full graham crackers crushed up. What's that? A food processor would be much easier? Yep. But what's the fun in that? Isla gets to fulfill several of the components of her sensory diet with this first activity, like pounding and applying pressure and rolling. Way more fun for her than pushing a button. All right, just so mama would avoid a mess, I cut a corner of the bag to make it much easier and neater for the girls to measure out the crumbs. into the mixing bowl. Two, two brown sugar tablespoon. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Go ahead. One stick of butter. We need to melt one stick of butter. Let's try this microwave thing again, Isla Love. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. We're gonna try something different with the numbers today. I took a picture of the buttons of our actual microwave and printed out a couple copies. Then I highlighted and traced the numbers I wanted Isla to push. Your finger point to the one that's highlighted. Very good. Which one looks like that on the, on the, very good. Two, now let's try the next number. How about zero? Awesome, great job, Isla. Yay! The butter ended up needing 20 more seconds, which Isla was able to find by memory and using one of her strengths, matching. Now, we will mix the half cup of melted butter with the graham cracker and brown sugar mixture. Sure, you can use a mixing spoon if you want, but that is definitely not Isla's preference. Tell me how that feels. Good. But what does it feel like? Is it warm or cold? I'm warm. Warm. Is it soft or does it feel crunchy? It's very crunchy. <laughs> Next up, let's pour that mixture into a glass pie pan and apply pressure all around to create the pie shell. Look how awesome. Just to help it set a bit, bake the shell alone on 325 degrees for about 10 minutes. This is a great time to make the chocolate layer, which makes June dance, naturally. 
We like to mix milk chocolate and dark chocolate for this recipe. So we are using the extra large Hershey bars and we'll need one and a half bars of each chocolate flavor to create the perfect combination. Now add three fourths cup of heavy cream. Milk. And three fourths cup of milk. Awesome. It's a bit heavy. It's a little bit heavy. Like that? All the way to the top, because that's a three fourths cup. Mm. Perfect. Now we're gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla. Because we want this layer to be thick and mousse-like, we need two eggs, which Isla can count out by using an association. Can you grab us two eggs? One egg in each hand. One in one hand, one in the other hand. Great job. Make sure to whisk those eggs in well. As I add the chocolate layer to the graham cracker crust, notice that when I tap on the surface, it really seems watery or runny for a pie, but keep in mind it will be like a chocolate mousse in the end and needs to be baked at 325 degrees until it passes the jiggle test. Speaking of jiggle. <laughs> Time for a little change in scenery for June Olive. All right, back to the jiggle test. Your chocolate layer is ready when it does not jiggle like this. This may take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. Now to cut up some marshmallows, butter up some kitchen shears and cut about 20 marshmallows in half. marshmallows sticky side down. And be very careful because the pie is really hot. Ready, Isla girl? Don't worry about which side is sticky. You will know as you pat each one in place. And one got away. I mean, come on, how is this not going to be delicious? One more round in the oven. This time, watch carefully as the marshmallows start to brown on top. So today we made s'mores, right? And s'mores are a really classic summertime food that reminds us of summer. And so what other things remind you about of summer? Like what do you love about summertime? Um, uh, um we make s'mores. We make s'mores. Is that a little how? We sometimes make them at grandma's house, that's right, because she has that little fire pit. What else do we do in the summer times? I love to go to the beach during the summer because there's so much fun. What do you do at the beach? I make sand castles and play with my friends in the water. I love going to the beach too, mm -hmm. Isla. What else is pretty, what's different about summertime when there's school? What things can we do in the summer that we can't do like during the school year? We don't work. <laughs> How about during the summer, do you wake up late or do you wake up early? We wake up late. <laughs> we wake up a little bit later. Do you stay up later than usual? Yes. That's fun. Are there any other foods that remind you of the summer? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Sandia. Sandia. So yeah, watermelon reminds us of the summer too. How about like popsicles? Right? Ice pops. Ooh, raspas are snow cones, those too, I know. Summer's a fun time. Just one? Yeah, just one of those, just one. I want the whole pie. Same. Me too. <gasps> and, and, 
You want the big pie, and now we'll get the little no. pie. Sounds good. <laughs> but they're but they're too hot. We had to wait for them. It's a little hot. What does it look like on top? They're marshmallows. They're gonna get nice and toasty. Remember, we today we have a very special taste tester coming to the Pena Barnhouse Kitchen, and it is my dad who is our abuelo. Our abuelo. Abuelo is the Spanish word for grandpa, so we can't wait to have him. Marito, we ready for you. Okay, we have Wello in our kitchen. Hi, Wello. Hey. All right, we're ready to try it. Let's see what Wello thinks. Oh, Isla, what do you have there? Chocolate. Ask Wello, what do you think? You think he wants chocolate syrup? Yeah, let's try a little bit. Let's see. Ooh. That's good. Okay. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's taste it out, Wello. Whoa. <laughs> That's marshmallowy. What do you taste, Wello? I taste like graham crackers, mm -hmm. chocolate, and marshmallows. Yeah, it's a big, big s'more. I have one word for this. <laughs> this girl <laughs> is delicioso. <laughs> My girlies. Hi guys, it's Olive. Give us a huge like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Until next time.